fitting Aries, cradles the once beautiful world in the new However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta, a new sons from his past, and calling him to battle. With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past days. And so he went to Rome to deliver the final blow to the siege city.
this beast. I offer you more than help, Kratos. I offer you power. I offer you the blade of Olympus. It was this blade that ended the great war and defeated the Titans. Drain your godly powers into the sword, Kratos. Only then will you reach your full potential. Why do you aid me now? What I do now, I do for the good of all Olympus.
Yes, I am forced to attend to this matter myself. Athena refused to undo her mistake. Imagine caring for a creature such as yourself. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? Your hands are already stained by the blood of a god. will not let any fate be my own. The gods are petty and pathetic, and your wound is weak. I grow tired of this insolence. I am the king of Olympus.
You could not be killed. I never lost faith. Return to Sparta and prepare for battle. But our brothers are dead. You can still hold a sword. Spartans do not surrender. Do as your god commands. And what of you, my lord? I am going after Zeus. It seems I still have allies on Olympus. 